For men, testosterone has always been recognized for its importance with regard to sexual function. But over the course of the last decade, researchers continue to become more aware of the other important effects of testosterone and how dangerous testosterone deficiency is for aging men. Recent research published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism has uncovered a strong link between testosterone and atherosclerosis in men with adult onset diabetes. Atherosclerosis is also known as hardening of the arteries and is a condition in which cholesterol, fats, and other materials start to form plaques in the arteries, which inhibit proper blood flow and make the heart have to work harder to pump blood. Atherosclerosis increases the risk of numerous other diseases and vastly increases the risk of blood clots, heart attack, and stroke. Heart disease and other cardiovascular associated diseases are the leading causes of death in Western men. In the past, researchers have already linked low testosterone deficiency with both an increased risk of diabetes and atherosclerosis, but this study demonstrates how the three conditions interact, feeding on each other to diminish the health of the patient. Also, this study indicates the severity of atherosclerosis and provides insight into how testosterone levels and atherosclerosis severity are correlated. The side effects of testosterone have to deal with having too little or too much. The key to health is having a healthy balance of testosterone levels. This study shows that not only does low T, the clinical diagnosis of hypogonadism, increase the risk of atherosclerosis, it also increases the severity of the condition, both with regard to plaque buildup and other health issues related to that buildup. Boosting testosterone if levels are too low can help to alleviate some of these systems, however. In this study, the researchers related low T, shorthand for low testosterone, with a number of physiological issues related to atherosclerosis, including inflammation, the number and severity of plaques present in the arteries, and the thickness of the carotid arteries, which are responsible for delivering fresh oxygenated blood to the brain. The results of this research shows that males that had adult onset diabetes in combination with a low testosterone had six times the risk of patients with only diabetes to experience malfunctions of epithelial function and carotid arteries that were thicker than normal as a result of atherosclerosis. Testosterone foods could then be said to be foods which prevent this kind of plaque buildup in the arteries. Avoiding junk food is one way to help keep testosterone levels improved. Because these foods are associated with belly fat that tends to hold estrogen in the body. Among patients that did not have testosterone deficiency, only 10% of patients were in the at risk category with regard to cardiovascular disease, whereas 54% of patients with low T were in the at risk category. Hypogonadism, or low T, or low testosterone, is therefore a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. One of the authors of this study is Dr. Javier Farias of Santorio Guernes University in Argentina. This study was a multinational, multi-center effort which also involved the Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. Atherosclerosis is one of the root causes and key indicators of cardiovascular disease, one of the most deadly diseases in America and the world today. This fact cannot be stated enough. It flies over the head of most people. In recent years, there have been a few studies which have presented evidence which supports the notion that testosterone replacement increases the risk of heart conditions, such as heart attack, and this has led bioidentical testosterone to undergo increased scrutiny. Of course, the body of research is mixed, as many studies have also shown that when testosterone is administered properly, the risks of heart-related issues are significantly mitigated. The issue with the studies which reported the potential cardiovascular dangers of low T therapy are that the patients that used the treatment and the doctors that prescribed it 
did not provide the treatment in the safest and most effective way possible. Most cardiovascular issues related to testosterone restoration are either the result of increased estrogen levels in the bloodstream or increased red blood cell count owing to increased erythrocyte activity in the bone marrow. When both of these factors are appropriately accounted for and monitored, with the appropriate counteractive measures put in place, the safety of testosterone therapy for the heart increases dramatically. In most testosterone programs, HCG injections are included to keep the testicles nice and full. Arimidex slash anastrozole are incorporated into a testosterone protocol by most endocrinologists to keep estrogen in check. These drugs help prevent aromatization of, of testosterone into estrogen. High testosterone levels in men are just as dangerous as low testosterone levels in men. Patients that abuse testosterone causing high levels, especially in men, do put themselves at risk. But for patients that legitimately use testosterone therapy for the treatment of low T and hypogonadism, the treatment is safe when the proper protocol is followed. Testosterone therapy and optimization increases in popularity annually in the United States, with millions of men using these treatments in an attempt to enhance their health and wellness. Increasing testosterone levels does not have to be dangerous if one follows a protocol from an experienced doctor and has their levels tested on a regular basis. What might be considered normal testosterone levels and ranges for aging men is not necessarily healthy. Although research at this point indicates the relative safety of testosterone replacement when used as indicated, it's important to note that there have been no sufficiently long-term clinical trials with regard to the safety of testosterone for the heart. Although no studies published thus far present strong evidence without having serious issues with methodology. The FDA recent has required some testosterone markers to put warnings on their products because of the risk of strokes and heart attacks. So there are some recent studies suggesting that there are dangers associated with increasing testosterone in older men. High testosterone levels in men should be avoided. Instead, optimal levels should be sought. This atherosclerosis study was small scale and examined and monitored a total of 150 male patients suffering from adult onset diabetes. All of the patients that were examined were under the age of 70 and none of the patients had a clinical history of cardiovascular disease. What researchers discovered was that more than over 50% of the patients examined had testosterone deficiency. There are many people looking to increase their testosterone levels with so-called boosting pills on the internet, but these are generally ineffective. Only a testosterone prescription under medical guidelines of an experienced physician can one, boost their testosterone. There are natural ways to boost one's testosterone levels as well through cardiovascular oriented exercises and bodybuilding training. Previous studies have shown that men with testosterone deficiency and diabetes simultaneously have an increased mortality risk. One study in particular shows that patients with low T and diabetes at the same time were over 17% more likely to experience death over the course of a six year period. Cardiovascular disease and atherosclerosis are clearly two related health issues which play a role in increasing this mortality risk. Although this study was preliminary, the results were significant and easily warrant further examination. It's clear that these three conditions, low T, type two diabetes, and atherosclerosis are correlated based simply on the results of this study but a larger study will be necessary to more accurately assess the strength and relatability of the correlation.